Hey guys, Jessica Donbu here, and today I'm reviewing the Airfield Evacuation movie set. Kind of some big changes to the airfield for Bradburn Base for my stop motion animation series, Gundam Father of Peace. Just a quick overview there. Been uh, prepping for animation on this set. That's where the dust, pilot's head, movie to watch while I do it. <laughs> see a lot of things here so spoiler Bradburn base took so much damage during part three of episode two and that'll release uh once i have all the voices and editing done my voices are coming in slow so this is actually for part four of episode two and you know without voices you can't time anything so you just start filming part four it's part of the reason why it takes so long sometimes it's just the way it is so, uh, yeah, getting things ready. Base gets pretty destroyed in part three. Saw a lot of that in ep uh, episode two, part two. And so they're actually called to evacuate, not to uh, stay and rebuild and regroup. And so all these uh, Medea transports come in. I hope to do a shot. There's my Federation flag and Xeon flag, the two enemy sides and gun the to do a couple of these guys fly away in the very beginning and then come down and it's kind of a still pan shot of all this I'm trying to figure out how to animate that but some core boosters have come in to provide cover since most of the jets got destroyed we got wounded here waiting to be evacuated we got a large cargo plane a whole bunch of troops getting ready to leave most of these troops will be redeployed to Odessa. Destroyed tanks and things have been bulldozed over here. A little bit of a blockade over there where the Xeon tanks broke in and some Federation tanks guarding it. Vehicles back here. They'll possibly be loaded. We got one of these here just for help in defending the base. One of Mason's team is patrolling around. I might actually film her over here so I can get a shot of the base from this kind of angle. With her talking, they'll be patrolling her and Mason. While the third person in their team will be loading boxes! Yay! The most fun job ever. She's going to be pretty ticked about it. Keep a pilot there. Well, I've said that we needed some more pilots who were girls. And so, Mason's team will have two females. You can see lots of stuff being loaded on. It's surprising that I have like three N2 bombs from Evangelion. I don't know if anyone will notice those. <laughs> but yeah, N2 bombs. Awesome. Weapons from Bradburn Base. I mis purposely tried to make sure I got the right number of shields. Since each shield has a number. So all this stuff is being loaded onto these gun parries. Medea transports have already left with several things. Got another airplane over here being loaded. Jets have been bulldozed into a corner. Tanks and destroyed fire trucks have been bulldozed into a corner. You can see all the damage to the airfield is still there because we're still evacuating. Or we're evacuating, we're not rebuilding it. It's pretty destroyed. And then we have this gun parry over here. I gotta cover up the white base logo there with something. Possibly just a yellow spray painted sticker. I don't know. And uh, it's being guarded by an N type RX 78 and a whole lot of soldiers. And in case, yeah, I won't say too much about that. Just simply put, these ones are being loaded. That one's being guarded. That's kind of important. I'll leave you with that. So, yeah, the destroyed airfield being evacuated. Hope you enjoyed the tour of the movie set. I hope I can crank this out animation-wise. Um, I'm not relying on a whole lot of regular voices for it, so hopefully so. And then I can flip it over, film the other half of Bradburn Base. It's possible if things go slowly enough with Part 3, we may actually have Part 3 and 4 released together. But uh, hopefully Part 3 will just come together. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you guys later.